Because of the unique nature of these treacherous waters, the U.S. Coast Guard has run a surf rescue training facility here, just across the river from Historia since 1968. You don't have to watch for long to see why the Columbia River is such a good training ground. The large waves are formed when swells from the Pacific collide with the outflowing current of the river. They are most active in shallow areas, near the north and south bars. The flow of the river, the tides, and the smallest storm can transform this area into one of the most treacherous maritime sites in the world. The sands on the bottom of the Columbia River are constantly moving. In days before modern navigational equipment, even the most skilled captain could, after a storm, sail into what was once a channel and find it blocked due to the force of the sea and the force of the river. After compiling dozens of old maps spanning over a hundred years, the Columbia River Maritime Museum has helped develop a computerized time-lapse image that depicts this changing topography. The red dots represent a few of the 2,000 shipwrecks that have occurred here. The form in the center is the ever-changing sand island, moving in what seems a conscious effort to snare unsuspecting ships. It is this changing landscape that creates a ship trap and has given this site the name, the Graveyard of the Pacific. <laughs>